to this tutorial on how to play Save Me by Kutabaustini. I apologize if I just butchered that name. Probably did. We've got an A minor here, an E minor, a G, and an F. You can play those F and G chords as bar chords also if you'd like, or even your A minor. It just depends. I'm going to teach this as a beginner version. So we're going to walk through how to play those chords. If you already know how to play those chords, go ahead and skip ahead. For our A minor, you are going to start with your index finger on the first fret of the B string. That's your second string up from the bottom. And your first fret is the farthest fret to the left. Your middle finger is going to go on the second fret, so one fret over from your index, on the D string. And that's your third string down, one, two, three strings down. And your ring finger gets tucked right under on the second fret of the G, which is your third string up. One, two, three strings up. And we play five strings. We do not play this top E string here, low E. So just those five strings get played on your A minor. For your E minor, you can shift both those fingers up one string. So now your middle finger is on the second fret of the A string, which is your second string down and your ring finger is tucked right under on the second fret of the D and you play all six strings. So there's your E minor. For your G chord, you have your ring finger on the third fret of the high E, middle finger on the opposite side of the strings on the third fret of the low E, and your index goes on the second fret of the A string. So there's your G chord. Play all six strings again. And for our F open chord, you're going to have your index again on the first fret of the B. Middle finger is now on the second fret of the G, so that's one string up from the B. So you have your index on the second fret of the B, sorry, first fret of the B, middle finger on the second fret of the G. So those two strings there. Now your ring finger comes all the way up to the third fret of the A string, and your pinky goes right under on the third fret of the D. And now we don't want to play this high E string that's not part of the chord. And we also don't want to play that low E, so we're just looking to play those four strings that are sandwiched in between these two strings. Okay, so that's your F chord, and then if you're advanced enough, you're welcome to play your F chord as a bar chord, and your G chord as a bar chord, your A minor as a bar chord, um, and you can also play your E minor as a bar chord if you would like to. But we're going to go with open chords here since this is for beginners. So, for the progression itself here, it goes like this, A minor, A minor, E minor, F, to your G. And the picking and the strumming goes like this, so we're going to pick our root note on the A minor, which is this A string. We're going to strum up, up, down, up, pick, up, up, down, up, pick, up, up, down, up, pick, up, up, down, up. And you do that twice for each chord. So on A minor, it goes like this. Now we go to our E minor. Our root note changes to the low E string here. Same strumming. F chord. Now you can play the A string as your root note again. To our G chord, and now we're back on the low E string for our root note. And that's all there is to it. So A. for just about the entire song. There are some parts in the song where they're going to stick on the A minor for a little bit, so it'll just be... But you'll hear as soon as they progress out of that back to the E minor. And from there they continue on with this progression. all there is.
there is to it. So that is going to be it for this tutorial. If you have questions, feel free to comment below. If you'd like to see more tutorials, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.